Ma'am, ma'am, look here, look here, look here, look here, ma'am. Was mainly basically foundation based there, but was working towards helping A to create awareness about the importance of early detection. But the core objective was to be able to raise enough funds to pay for the treatment of women, especially from the lower socioeconomic strata, who can't afford to get themselves treated, but are determined to be well. And we just believe that every woman, every woman should have that chance. And I'm just so grateful that in the last 15 years, thousands of women have had that opportunity to be treated at the Tata. A lot of them are back with their families. They are back with, as being pillars of their uh, family household. Share some of her thoughts on the issues that affect the lives of many women. May I request the dais? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The Women's Cancer Initiative, in partnership with the Tata Memorial Hospital in its 15th year, has been tirelessly contributing to society with the efforts it has been putting in focusing on women's cancer in India. I would like to applaud the team and congratulate them for coming together to support and take care of various issues related to cancer, especially amongst underprivileged women, such as breast cancer, cervical cancer, and ovarian cancer. The foundation also undertakes numerous initiatives to create awareness and emphasize the importance of early detection. It aids research and development on the causes and cures of the disease, as well as facilitates interaction between professionals. The foundation also financially supports over 500 women annually who are unable to afford their treatment. There are so many myths and misconceptions in our country that it's astonishing to realize and recognize that there are so many people, even in this day and age, who believe that a disease like cancer could possibly be contagious. To us, that's shocking. But to many, seemingly that's a fact. And that just boils down to lack of awareness and education, access to information, and recognizing what this disease is really all about and the steps you need to take as simply as early detection. And events such as these is what come, has us come together to draw attention and raise awareness, increase dialogue, get people um, information, make it more accessible to them, and have people come in for their regular checkups, for early detection because that in the course of action referred to as a baby step is the most important step that can actually um, be such an important step to the possible cure of the disease when a patient has it and is discovered having it. So early detection is gives you a higher chance at a cure and that's a possibility that every person should humanly have a right to access. We hope that this early detection of curable cancers in women will be an important component of the cancer control program in India. Devika Aunty is um, like family to me. And yeah, well, that's what we call her fondly. I've known her for years before I even became family to Abhishek and therein she became Devi Kanti. <laughs> but, um, and hence obviously my personal exchange here where, you know, it's, um, it's amazing to see that even when she went through an experience like her brush with cancer, she has converted it like so many people out there to positively affect, contribute, and raise awareness and hopefully make a difference. That's a very small step in bringing about change, 
but in our society, I think we are all drops in that huge wave where we can come together and actually make a difference. And every step counts, every possible contribution, uh, personally, emotionally, financially, makes a huge difference. Um, it's only people whose lives have cancer has touched, which currently is seemingly every second person, that you know what you're dealing with, you know what you're battling, you know what the experience is all about. And um, it, is, it is our reality check in present day and age, and it's very, very um, apparent, screaming at us from every um, possible corner of, I think, every one of our lives. And um, we need to do what we can do to be there for each other as a people. I was with Auntie in a very, um, um, it, it was a very small thing when I was part of your Think Pink um, fashion show in the, I think the first year of your initiative of, of WCI. And um, it's, it's so um, heartwarming to know that though time has flown by and it's in its 15th year today, you're still tirelessly working with this unconditional love, care, and dedication because that's what it really takes to propel you to believe and do what you do. So um, on your behalf with you, I'd like to thank your wonderful support team here and so many others who are probably not on the dais but are working with you and have been working through these years to be able to make a difference. And the movement is ongoing. Thank you all here for being here and um, you know, sharing your precious time because just by being here also, you're supporting, you're raising awareness, members of the media who have come here. I mean, I play dress up and I kind of flounce up I'm here because very honestly, you know, um, we do what we do personally in our lives, but I am part of showbiz and that photograph is going to go viral and that is going to raise dialogue and that is important. So people know why I'm here and uh, it draws attention to the cause and it draws attention to what work is really being done. And um, that's the idea behind the flouncing up, but <laughs> I'm all heart and soul, I'm here. I am one of the quiet, tireless soldiers as well. Um, it has touched my life personally as well with my loved ones and um, here we are doing what we have to do and walk the talk. So thank you all, my prayers and love with all the brave hearts and souls who are, you know, um, battling cancer every waking day to their families and their loved ones and their friends who are there all heart and soul. Um, you're a huge source of strength and conviction to, to the patients who are, who are battling it, who survive it and still live with the quiet niggling uncertainty of, you know, not knowing what the future holds. So compassion, empathy, love, and just humaneness, just being real, being human is, is what we all can do. So thank you, sincerely, love you. I'd like to thank Devi Kanti. Dr. Barvi is not here with us, but for all his work and contribution, Dr. Gupta, Pratima Raoji, Mr. and Mrs. Bajaj, and uh, Suresh Ankur, who's here too with Devi Kanti. And um, the performers this evening, um, Manjri Chaturvedi and her team for enthralling us with a performance this evening. Thank you for your time and thank you for your support. God bless. We are back here with Devi Kanti, of course, and with the WCI and their partnership with the Tata Memorial Hospital, the Women's Cancer Initiative, has been tirelessly working for 15 years. I was with them in their initial year yes. as well, and um, my support has been ongoing and will always be. Mm, it's a very important um, movement, I think, that needs constant work. It's ongoing. and. Uh, for innumerable years ahead with all your support, your audience, and you have to be our uh, soldiers spreading the word.
because it's really about educating the women um, in our country, increasing their awareness and having them go in for their regular checkups. So it, it really aids initial detection uh, and early detection gives hope for a possible cure for the, di for the disease. So um, I think that's, that's really what we believe is most imperative and over 20. Wait a minute, get it. It's very important to spread the message that women must get themselves detected early, create awareness that women's cancers are curable, especially breast cancer, if they're detected early. So that awareness has to be spread all over India. And an event like this, when you have Ashwarya Ji coming and gracing the occasion and spreading this message, I hope all of you will carry it just as far. Ma